Hello and welcome to Let's Learn Computing. I'm Todd Colwell. Today's tutorial is to explore variables with Duck Builder. It's for Windows PC, the subject is computing, and it's for children ages 5 to 7. To do this lesson, you need to make sure that you have this program, Duck Builder. It's quite an old program now, it's from 2002, but every time I've used it, the children love it, and it's a really good lesson to uh, understand computing concepts. So those concepts, uh, it's the idea of variables. Something that can change in a program is called a variable. And also to use a logical reasoning to predict the behavior of programs. And so logical reasoning means that you're aware of the rules of a program and then you're able to think carefully about what is going to happen using those rules before you use the program. So let's have a look at the rules of Duck Builder. Okay, so this is the main screen for Duck Builder, and it's a very simple program. Uh, these are the variables. You can move the front leg and the back leg, and you can see it shrink and grow in the picture. All right, so they just drag, or the children can directly type in to change these values. Like that. Okay, and so if they just click fly, the aim of the game is to get the duck to fly. And it says my legs are different lengths. So straight away, you need to make sure that the legs are the same length, like that. Okay, so, and then they can use logical reasoning again to think that, okay, if the legs have to be the same length, probably a best idea for the back wing and the front wing to also be the same length. So that can be there. And the body, they might know about things that are heavy and they fall to the ground very quickly and things that are light they can throw further so let's see what happens with a big body like this and a bill as well you can get a very long bill or a short bill like that and flat speed so might be aware of birds flying like that okay so let's go to fly now back to the duck builder and of course it keeps the same variables uh, settings as it was before so then we need to use some more logical reasoning to think okay right well the bird's looking quite heavy and so then we need to change the size of the body like this and maybe it wasn't flapping fast enough so we'll do like this up here and then we'll go to fly <laughs> And that is the easy activity to get the duck to fly. Some children might just get to that stage, but the medium activity is to get the duck to fly straight. Uh, this one, I need to make the flap speed a bit slower. Let's see what that does. I'm going to make the wings a bit smaller as well. Yippee! Just the variables one more time. Yippee! Right, and this is the well done message when you get the ducks to fly reasonably straight. So it's only a fast activity for this one, but uh, the children will really enjoy it. To request a tutorial or to download a copy of the slides used in this tutorial, visit letsknowncomputing.com. While you're there, please subscribe to the Let's Learn Computing YouTube channel so you don't miss a tutorial. I'm Todd Colwell, thanks for listening and see you next time.